Pretty exciting stuff when someone driving a McLaren P1, not just someone, but a race car driver, says the Tesla Model S family sedan made it look like it was standing still. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Great to have you here. Now, if you're new, make sure you subscribe to get updates in your feed of new videos that we're doing about EVs. If you're not new, Welcome back guys, great to see you again. Now Simon Alvarez from Teslarati has just reported on something crazy. And you know why it's crazy? It's crazy because I think EVs are taking over the market and I think it's gonna happen much quicker than people think. By 2030, ICE will be dead. Sure, there'll be plenty of ICE vehicles on the road, but new car sales will be 100% EVs. Now, whoever takes that market is whoever takes that market but a number of players will go bankrupt, guaranteed. A number of very big players will go bankrupt because EV is here. And EV is the new fast. Quiet is the new loud. That is true, guys. Cars, the sound of loud noises will be synonymous with slow because EVs are fast and EVs, except for the Porsche Taycan, which makes a funny noise, are silent. Now, this weekend's Hypercar Invitational at Laguna Seca was, for the most part, an opportunity for professional race car driver Randy Pops and Tesla Shooting House Unplugged Performance to test out how their race spec Model S Plaid performs on the track. The Model S Plaid really didn't disappoint. In fact, it was insane. And it didn't shy away from overtaking supercars on the track. Now, guys, this is a small, tight track. I'm sure many of you have played Gran Turismo before and raced on Laguna Seca. It's because it's got the insane corkscrew, which I've never quite figured out how to nail because it's a cra it's the craziest corner in all of racing. You have to admit, it is the craziest, really, it's the craziest track in all of racing just because of that insane corner, because of the corkscrew. Now, obviously, the Model S Plaid nailed this course. And if you think about it, a family sedan, nailing this course, this technical course, and making the fastest, some of the fastest ICE vehicles in the world look as though they're standing still. In the words of the drivers driving those ICE cars, that is really, as what Elon would say, a huge smackdown to ICE. Now, over the course of the weekend, the modified four-door family sedan overtook some of the world's most iconic hypercars at one of the world's most iconic tracks. Now, guys, I don't know if you've heard of Unplugged Performance before, but they're no stranger to Teslas. They've been a dedicated Tesla tuning house since the days of the Model S P85 Plus. And Pops is no neophyte with Teslas either. Finishing Pike's Peak Exhibition Class last year in second place in a Model 3 Performance that was rebuilt just days after an enormous crash. If you haven't seen the crash, check it out online. It's insane. Anyway. The fact that the Tesla Model 3 somehow came out of that <laughs> virtually unscathed is remarkable. Well, at least its powertrain was anyway. Now, for both Unplugged and Randy, the Model S Plaid would be used for this year's Pikes Peak Hill Climb, and it proved to them to be a very pleasant surprise for such, really, what is a big and heavy car. Now, the Plaid featured a stock powertrain from Tesla, but its interior had been stripped out to lose weight, of course, as had the interiors of the other supercars that were there. The Plaid, had, they'd already installed a roll cage, which is incredible that they've done all this work in only a matter of days since they've actually received this car. And it had racing seats with six-point harnesses, of course, as you have to legally. Now, outside the Model S Plaid had a massive adjustable rear wing, and it retained its factory air springs, but it had custom unplugged performance, Bilstein dampers, and a three-way adjustable rear anti-roll bar. So very minor modifications. The car, really probably the biggest modification was the fact that the car ran on Yokohama Advan slick tires and forged aluminum wheels. So you can see that really very little has been done to this car to get it race ready. 
but they're the kind of things that you really have to do to get a car on a racetrack. Now guys, the Model S Plaid proved that it was worthy of being on the same track as hypercars like the McLaren P1 and the Senna. I mean, the Senna is a multi-million dollar hypercar. We're talking about a family sedan, remember. Now, not only was it worthy of being on the track with these cars, it was actually overtaking them. This was shown in a video shared online, which featured the Model S Plaid casually overtaking the McLaren Senna and the P1 with ease. Later comments from the driver of the McLaren P1 showed that the Model S Plaid was so fast, it almost felt like the other vehicles were standing still. So the driver of the McLaren P1 said, I'm going to repeat this again. He said, the Model S Plaid was so fast, it almost felt like the other vehicles were standing still. Now this, guys, is just the beginning because the new Tesla Roadster will have even more powerful motors in it, even more powerful motors than the current Tesla Model S Plaid. In addition, it'll have the much better 4680 battery cells. Imagine how quick that Roadster is going to be. It is going to be insane. Now Tesla Righty says that they think the most notable observation from both Unplugged and from Randy Pops was just how well the Model S Plaid maintained its power during the laps. Now, as you can see, during the Tesla presentation, Musk showed that the motor doesn't taper off at all. In fact, it gets to a, its peak of 1,000 horsepower, and it maintains that peak constantly, which is unbelievable. At one point, Randy Pobbs remarked that the Model S Plaid, which only had a 34% charge remaining at the time, felt just as quick then as it did when it still had a full charge. So in a statement to Tesla Rati, Unplugged Performance CEO Ben Schaffer added that the Model S Plaid's capability to maintain its power despite its battery charge was super impressive. This is what he said. With every generation of Tesla, we've experienced significant progress in sustainable power delivery and thermal capacity. In simple terms, this means you're, you can drive faster and longer. The new Model S Plaid continues this trajectory of improvement and during our shakedown runs, the car illustrated almost no perceptible power loss as the battery state of, chain of charge decreased. Our driver, Randy Pobbs, said the car felt just as fast at 35% state of charge as at 100% state of charge. Now remember, he doesn't work for Tesla. He just works for his own business. So this isn't Tesla saying this. This is another business saying this about the Model S. So like I said, the Model S Plaid is going to take on Pike's Peak Hill Climb later this year. That'll be great to see. But what I'm even more interested in, guys, is how the Model S Plaid goes at the Nürburgring. Now, Elon Musk said that they're going to go back this year, or likely, to visit the Nürburgring with the new Model S Plaid. I'm fascinated to see that. I'm also fascinated to see how this car goes when it's been driven by Brooks from Drag Times. I'm sure that he will get a new record and beat Jay Leno's quarter mile record of 9.27 seconds. What do you guys think he's going to do? I think he'll do about maybe 9.1. Whatever's going to come, it's exciting stuff. You know what's most exciting about this, guys? Not really the fact that this is such a cool car. Really the fact that this is just a massive smackdown to ice. You know, this is a 130000 US dollar family sedan. Facts are facts. It's a family sedan. And it's putting supercars to shame. Imagine how good Tesla's Model S, whatever it's called, will be in 2030. Nine years from now. The future is exciting. I look forward to it every day. EVs are awesome. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.